Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Twisby Small Pocket Journal, Pocket Notebook. And this is a soft cover notebook. And if you watch any of my other videos, you know that I, I carry around a pocket journal pretty much all the time. And I wanted to take a look at this one. Now, the deal with the Twisby notebook is it's supposed to be specially designed for fountain pens. It's supposed to write, it's supposed to, the paper's supposed to be good to write with with fountain pens. And the notebook itself, it's, it's comparable in price to like the moleskin and those other kind of notebooks. It runs around, I want to say 11 to $14, depending on where you get it. Now, first of all, before we open it up, let's take a look at the size. It's, a. Uh, it's about three and a quarter, three and three and three fourths inches, almost four inches wide, and it's uh, five and a half inches tall, long, whatever you want to call it. So, quick comparison to a moleskin journal, it's a teeny bit bigger, but not a lot. It's just a hair bigger here on the side. So, and they're the same height. So, there's that. Kind of excited about this one because the the moleskin tool belt that I used might actually work for this one. I'm gonna try that out in a minute. All right, so let's see. Let's open this thing up and take a look. Now, this is supposed to have 240 pages, and as I said, it's a soft cover journal. Like so, and this one is a grid. Feels pretty good. It's 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 foldable enough to be like in your pocket comfortably. It feels like you have the traditional pocket in the back and the little elastic thing to keep it closed. And it's got the awful awful bookmark thing right here. The ribbon. It's got the see the ribbon. Let's hang it out. I'll tell you what, the one thing that I do, eh, there's the ribbon, I use the bookmark. First thing I almost always do is I cut out that stupid ribbon. Now, this has one thing going for it that's kind of interesting. All the pages, I don't know if you can see it, or maybe you can. All the pages are perforated. Although it doesn't look like, let me see, can y'all see that? It doesn't look like that first page. It's perforated all the way through. I'll check it out in a minute. See the other pages. Yeah, they're not perforated all the way down to the bottom, it doesn't look like. The perforation runs to here, and then it stops. Hmm. Well, we'll try that in a minute. We'll tear out a page and see how it works. Okay. See, these, it looks like... See the perforation goes all the way through? And... Just maybe there's a yeah this one this one the perforation stops right here and uh, we'll try it out it looks like it might still be perforated down there we'll try it out and see in a minute all right so unlike the moleskin doesn't have any perforated pages and the The Electrum 1917, it just has a couple of perforated pages in the back. Um, this one has all the pages perforated, which is actually kind of good. I like the, I like that aspect of it. Uh, my only concern would be that they hold up and survive, not, you know, come apart. So the big point is, how is it to write in it? And it seems like like, it seems to loosen up pretty good after, oops, <laughs> after, you after you basically break it in a little bit. All right, let's try writing something. And as this is supposed to be a fountain pen friendly book, let's try, first of all, we'll try a Pilot Metro see how it feels. 
And this is just a Pilot Metro with the default ink cartridge that comes with it. And so... Hmm. My pen's been sitting around for a little bit. Hmm. I'd be out of ink. Hmm. Alright. Well, I'll scratch that. Let's try a Twisby Eco. Actually seems kind of appropriate to try this with, you know, the Twisby Notebook. And this is loaded with Ultra Green Diamine. I think it's Ultra Green. Yeah, it's Diamine Ultra Green. Diamine Ultra Green. So this is a Twisby Eco with Diamine Ultra Green. Hmm. Seems to write pretty good. Let me zoom in a little bit. So, can y'all see that okay? Make sure there's... Alright. So, seems to write pretty good. And... See if there's any, like, bleep through or anything. Alright, doesn't look like it comes through hardly any. It's not bad. It doesn't feel too bad to write on either. I mean, it's not like super uncomfortable and it's not scratchy. It kind of has a decent, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't feel scratchy or anything. It's not like, some of the papers that I've tried, they felt basically like irritating, like just not enjoyable to write on. And this isn't bad to write on at all. So this is the Twisby Eco. And let's try the, we'll try a Pilot Vanishing Point. Hmm. That's not bad at all. Now both of these are fine points, so that may matter. Huh. That's kind of interesting. Do y'all see that? Let me, let me show you. You see there's a little bit of... Can y'all see it? There's a little bit of feathering with that right there. With the, the pilot vanishing point. Hmm. There's not any at all that I see with the Twisby Eco. That looks really good. But there's a little bit with this. Let's see if it goes through. It doesn't seem to go through and bleed in, bleed through at all. That's not too bad. All right, and it didn't. It felt, again, it was pretty comfortable to write with it. I mean, it wasn't. I, it wasn't like bad. I didn't feel. I didn't didn't dislike writing on the paper. Um, let's try a couple of normal pens while we're doing it, for a quick comparison. This is a a Pentel Energel. This is just the, their alloy, their metal pen. Uh, this is a Pentel Inner Gel. Hmm. So that one doesn't write too bad either. If you're adventuring away from the fountain pens. And again, it doesn't bleed through at all. Doesn't look like a bad notebook. Uh, I looked around online, and the one reference I found to the paper quality said it was 70 GSM paper. So it's not quite as thick a paper as like with the the Rhodia books or with the the Clairefontaine. It's not as heavy a paper, but it's about it's about on par with like the moleskin paper for the weight. It's the Moleskin paper is a little, it sometimes feels a little thin to me, and this feels about the same. So it's probably close to the 70 GSM. So here's the big question. How does it, how does the perf work? Is it easy to take out? Okay. Hmm. Well, that's not too bad. 
it gives you an option to tear out a page if you need to. Let's see. Here's a question. Will this cause an issue with this thing being in here? I don't know. Can y'all, let me zoom out a little bit. See what y'all think. See right here? There's a little... I don't think it'll cause too bad of a problem. I saw somebody online mention they had issues with it sort of starting to come unbound at some point. But, to be fair, with the level of abuse my pocket notebooks end up taking, if if theirs is anywhere like mine, they're going to start to... You'll basically, like, like I've had... I'm about to... I'm, a, I'm about to the point where this journal is... With, for a new one. And as you can probably see, it's taken a lot of abuse. And, you know, the... Like the spine, the spine doesn't do too bad, but there's it's just kind of like what what ends up, you know. If you it, you might like, it doesn't seem like the binding is that much worse between these two. And actually, they are almost. There's just like a it's just like a smidgen wider. So here's the question. Will the moleskin tool belt fit on the Twisby notebook? And that is a yes. Ooh. I'm kind of excited about that. Alright. You know, I already have my next moleskin replacement, like, in my desk drawer ready. But I might give this a try. I'm going to have to debate on that. I like being able to take out the pages. I really like that. And it does seem to write really... It, it writes nicely. And it doesn't bleed through. And one of the things you do run into with the moleskins is they have a... They're more prone to bleeding through than the other stuff. Anyway. Um... Let me know what y'all think. Have you, any of you tried the... The Twisby pocket notebooks? And like or dislike them? Is there a better pocket notebook out there than the ones I've checked out? Let me know what you think in the comments. And, oh, I'll include a link in the description if you want to check this out. They're on Amazon for like uh, 11 to $14. Shop around and see if you, make sure you find the best deal, of course. But, I mean, they're not super expensive. They're, they're definitely comparable in price to the Moleskin journals. And if you use a fountain pen, it really seems like this paper does a little bit better than the moleskin when it comes to the fountain pens. Um, anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I hope you all have an excellent day.